hey guys welcome back to my channel i am bella of bella natural care thank you for clicking and please consider subscribing and give me a thumb up or a comment so today i'm going to moisturize my hair i'm going to show you how i moisturize my braids my braids are looking a little bit crusty and not moving much because they're dry so i'm going to use just this bottle of water i'm just going to moisturize my hair with water and then i'll add in moisturizer that i showed there and oil which i also showed you so i normally and often you uh, prefer this kind these kinds of braids because they can retain water or moisture should i say and they're easy just to also style if you want to so i start by just spraying water there's no magic to it just spray water and make sure that the hair is nice and moist moist and that you are happy with the moisture that you have so that's all i do and then i decided i need to section them a little bit better so um, I mean I can work a little bit better but yeah that's just all I do so even if your hair is in braid you do need to keep moisturizing them because the end could break off and with these kind of braids that I have on your ends are exposed uh, not really covered uh, as if they would when you have uh, your hair in extension with extension braid because these are just with my own hair your ends are still exposed so you need to constantly moisturize them and the hair are uh, easily breakable when they are dry so if you choose to braid your hair with your own hair you need to moisturize them and there's no better moisturizer than water uh, you might have other stuff as well that you can put in your hair but water is the best so I do this often and then I put on uh, moisturizing conditioner or just conditioner or any moisturizing stuff that I have and then a little bit of oil and then after two weeks or so I'll have to wash out uh, the, the the oil and the moisturizer as well because if not your skin can get clogged so um, and you you want to not have your pores clogged that I, I believe that will help with uh, the growth of your hair as well and doing this your arms get tired you might as well immerse immerse your head under the water or just dip your head in the bucket of water or in the bathtub but i didn't want to do that because if you do that sometimes your hair the water will just run out of your hair or your scalp is wet or the hair is more wet than you want so with the bottle you can control then uh, immersing your hair and uh, in a bucket of water also but if you find that it's easy for you because with this method that I'm doing spraying your arms get really tight so I work my my water in and make sure that I just massage it in and then when you are happy with it as you can see here I think my hair is moving much better or it it is already loosening up so if if you are happy with the moisture you can then add or start adding yeah I have to jiggle it you see I think even the length has increased a little bit because you have that stretch so I was going somewhere and I just needed a little bit uh, help or a little pump in my hair so here comes the moisturizer this is just leave-in conditioner that I have from Kanto in my opinion it's not really the best but it is what I can get I put in 
as much as I can because I do want that moisture to retain. I want to retain the moisture in the hair so I put in as much as I want and you can also just put in as much or as little as you want or you need. And then just work it through and work it in and if uh, you observe carefully you can see that I'm not putting this product on my scalp. I try, at least I try not to put it on my scalp and just keep it on the hair itself and at the end as well. And then I will follow after I massage it in enough and it is evenly distributed. I will go in with my oil and spray a little bit of oil. You will also see this on this video. And so this is just one way of caring for my hair and to avoid breakage. And if you have had your hair braided with, here comes the oil. But if you have had your hair braided with your own, you will notice that even if they don't break off as much as they would when you are combing, they will still break off if you don't moisture them. So for me, this is important. I do it as often as I need to and it helps. I also spray um, water in my hair when I'm removing my braid so that it's just a little bit soft and again just to avoid uh, breakage. So I'm done with the oil. I'm just going to work it through. Massage my scalp also because I have a little bit of oil there to massage the scalp with. And this, by the way, it is just the body oil. It is not a special hair oil. It's just body oil so that I have. I use it in my body and I use it in my hair. So it can have double benefit, I guess. Anywho, I hope you find this helpful and if you do please give me a thumb up and I will have to wash this product out after a couple of weeks but anyway if you, I think they look good I was just checking myself out but yeah uh, give me a thumb up and please subscribe and consider sharing this video as well I thank you in advance for just clicking and watching if you watch this far and I'll see you again on my next video. Thank you and bye.